Hello guys, meet again with Kanima. Various types of artillery have been created in various forms, and also have sophistication. These various artillery pieces are specifically designed to destroy and weaken enemy forces. Therefore, artillery is very dangerous which has enormous destructive power. These are the 10 most dangerous weapons ever created by humans. Urine 9 Urine 9 is a robot equipped with advanced features. The Urine 9 is equipped with a 30mm cannon and is capable of firing around 400 rounds per minute and is capable of destroying armored vehicles. This artillery is also equipped with several small missiles for the upper area, which aims to paralyze military aircraft or helicopters within a radius of 3 kilometers above the ground. Urine 9 was designed as a support unit for the Russian military capable of working in different weather and geographical conditions. With all its features, Urine 9 is effectively placed at the forefront of the most massive battles, with the task of destroying much larger and highly protected enemy vehicles. This role is able to provide combat effectiveness of infantry teams, while offering maximum protection to military personnel. Archer Artillery System the Archer artillery system consists of an FH-77, 155 mm artillery piece in the rear of a modified all-terrain Volvo Mi A25C, 6x6, truck chassis. This vehicle is capable of running at a maximum speed of 70 km per hour, with a maximum distance of 500 km. The main weapon is a 52 caliber 155 mm gun where the Archer system is fully automatic and autonomous. In addition, all systems for firing artillery are integrated with each other. Each weapon system will be managed by three to four operators outside the system, enhancing safety during deployment and firing. For enemy attacks, the Archer is armed with a remote weapon system, consisting of day and night vision. In addition, the vehicle cabin is also equipped with protection from extreme conditions. This protection includes ballistic, mine fire, and noise protection. There is also emergency driving equipment which allows driving with all wheels punctured, or if the vehicle hits a mine. Cluster Munitions This is a missile that is really dangerous for humanity, because 90% of victims from this bomb are civilians. Cluster munitions themselves are projectiles that are dropped from the air and spit out hundreds of small bombs or submunitions when they are about to touch the ground. The number of submunitions contained in the projectiles is very large, even reaching 650 submunitions the size of oranges. The purpose of this weapon is designed to kill personnel and destroy enemy vehicles or facilities. While other clusters are designed to destroy runways or power transmission lines, deploy chemical or biological weapons, or to deploy landmines. Because cluster bombs release many small bombs over a wide area, they pose a risk to civilians both during an attack and afterward. Some small bombs often do not explode for some time after release, so that it can kill or injure civilians who accidentally find it. Even long after the conflict has ended, these bombs are often found by civilians who do not understand the dangers of these bombs. Besides that, they are also expensive to find and remove. Because of this dangerous nature, cluster munitions are prohibited in several countries. But currently, there are still several countries that still use this weapon for their defense. AK-630M2 the AK-630 is a fully automatic weapon system belonging to the Russian Navy, which has a 6-barreled 30mm swivel gun. Code 630 means 6-barrel and 30mm mounted on an automatic turret, and directed by the MR-123 radar, which has a detection and tracking system. The system's primary purpose is defense against anti-ship missiles and other precision-guided weapons. However, this artillery can also be used to hit planes, rockets, ships or boats, targets on the beach and floating sea mines. 
Some Soviet warships often installed up to eight units on each ship, ranging from Minahinters to aircraft carriers. One set of AK-630M2 is called A213 Vimple A, which consists of AK-630M gun mount, MR-123-02 fire control radar system, and SP-521 electrical optical tracker. One MR-123 radar system can control two different weapons simultaneously capable of engaging air and sea surface targets, within a radius of 5 kilometers. This radar is also capable of detecting MIG-21-sized aircraft as far as 7 kilometers. Ohio Submarines The Ohio submarines previously carried ballistic missiles with nuclear warheads, but were later converted with the most powerful and flexible weapons in the U.S. Navy. This giant submarine has the ability to carry 154 Tomahawk land cruise missiles and dozens of special operations troops to the area that is the target of the mission. In addition, Ohio has also turned into a submarine with very unique capabilities, ranging from drone carriers to being a command and control center. Another Ohio change was 22 missile tubes instead of 24, later modifying them so they couldn't fire nuclear missiles. Instead, each will be able to launch up to 7 BGM-109 Tomahawks. While the other two tubes have a locking chamber function, so that combat divers and Navy SEALs can enter and exit even underwater. These submarines also have the ability to operate better in shallow waters closer to shore. Bastion P Bastion P is a Russian mobile coastal defense missile system. Bastion P's main role is to engage surface ships including battleship groups, carriers, convoys and landings. Each set consists of one to two command and control vehicles, by Camas 43,101-6X6 truck, one support vehicle, four 8X8 launcher vehicles, each operated by a three-person crew containing two missiles, and four loader vehicles. Once stopped, the missile can be readied for firing within five minutes, and the two are fired in two to five second intervals. The launcher can remain on active standby for three to five days, or up to 30 days when accompanied by a combat duty support vehicle. The missile used by Bastion P is the P-800 Onyx, a supersonic anti-ship missile with a warhead of 200-250 kilograms. They are fired vertically from the launcher using a solid fuel rocket booster for initial acceleration, then using a liquid fuel ramjet for sustained cruising at Mach 2.5. At the start of the launch, the missile navigation used GLONASS, a space-based satellite navigation system operating on Russian radio navigation satellite. Then active radar guidance when approaching the target, the missile can fly to a height of 14,000 meters before descending. This system is capable of destroying targets both at sea and on land. When the target is at sea, the missile has a range of 350 kilometers and nearly 450 kilometers when the target is on the ground. S-400 The S-400 Triumph missile is known by NATO under the codename SA-21 Growler. The S-400 is an anti-aircraft missile system that has a maximum range of 400 kilometers and can reach targets at an altitude of up to 27 kilometers. The system is mobile and includes a control center and several missile launch elements, up to 12 launchers each. Russia views the system as one of the key elements of its anti-aircraft defense system. Advanced and inexpensive technology, this missile is manufactured by a state-owned arms manufacturer Almazanti. The S-400 was developed to destroy fighter jets, cruise missiles, ballistic missiles and drones. Because this missile is considered better than missiles belonging to other countries, then America and the West make better planes. The S-400 is very versatile and can be used with several types of rockets. In addition, this weapon also has another big advantage, which is a more affordable price. The S-400 is considered cutting edge, but it won't last long, 
Now that Russian arms manufacturers are nearing completion of the S-500 system, dubbed Prometheus, MLRS. MLRS stands for Multiple Launch Rocket System, which is a multiple launch rocket system that has an automatic system with high mobility. The MLRS can fire up to 12 rockets in a few seconds. When launching a rocket, the three crew members, namely the gunners and section chief, can fire this rocket without leaving the cabin. The MLRS launcher unit consists of an M270 launcher loaded with 12 rockets and packed in two six rocket pods. The launcher, mounted on the Bradley chassis, is a highly efficient self-loading and auto-aim system. It contains a fire control computer which integrates the vehicle and rocket launch operations. Rocket firing can also be done one by one or simultaneously. Even so, accuracy can be maintained, because the computer always redirects the shot when the launch process is in progress. The artillery can be easily transported to the area of operations, either by C-5 transport or aircraft or by rail. MLRS also offers optimal cross-country mobility and a road speed of 64 km per hour. Ballistic Missiles A ballistic missile is a missile that flies at suborbital altitude via a ballistic path. Ballistic missiles can only be controlled in the launch stage. The first ballistic missile was the V-2 rocket developed by Nazi Germany between the 1930s and 1940s. The first successful test of the V-2 was on 3 October 1942 and entered service on 6 September 1944, which was used during the Battle of Paris, followed by the attack on London two days later. By the end of the war in May 1945, more than 3,000 V-2s had been fired. The ballistic missile trajectory consists of three stages, namely the launch stage, the free-flying stage which spends most of the time flying the missile, and the stage of re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. Ballistic missiles can be launched from a fixed location or from launch vehicles, including ships, aircraft, or submarines. When it is in sub-orbit and there is no more propulsion, the missile enters the free-flying stage. To achieve long ranges, ballistic missiles are generally launched up to sub-orbit. Intercontinental ballistic missiles can reach an altitude of about 1,200 kilometers. This type of artillery has several categories according to its range, namely short-range ballistic missiles that have a range of less than 1,000 kilometers. A medium-range ballistic missile that has a range of between 1,000 and 2,500 kilometers. Intermediate-range ballistic missiles or IRBMs have a range of between 2,500 and 3,500 kilometers. Subcontinental ballistic missile and intercontinental ballistic missile or ICBM, which has a range greater than 3,500 kilometers. This missile can reach an altitude of up to 1,200 kilometers. Thus, this missile is capable of hitting targets at speeds of more than 6 kilometers per second, or Mach 17. MIRV MIRV stands for Multiple Independent Targetable Reentry Vehicle. Namely an exo-atmospheric ballistic missile payload containing multiple warheads. Some of these warheads consist of a single unit contained in one missile. In contrast to ballistic missiles, this exotmospheric concept is almost always associated with intercontinental ballistic missiles. Only China, Russia, United Kingdom, United States, and France are currently confirmed to have a working MIRV missile system. Meanwhile, Israel is suspected of developing or possessing MIRV. The first MIRV was the Minuteman III, which had three smaller warheads weighing the equivalent of 170 kilotons of TNT, which replaced the 1.2 megatons of TNT in earlier versions of the missile. From 1970 to 1975, the United States phased out about 550 versions and replaced them with the new Minuteman III, which was equipped with a MIRV payload, which increased its overall effectiveness. 
The power of this smaller warhead is offset by the increased accuracy of the system, which allows it to hit hard targets more effectively than larger but less accurate warheads. The introduction of the MIRV caused a major shift in the strategic balance, where previously a single warhead could be anticipated using an anti-missile weapon. With three warheads, the enemy will have more anti-missile weapons to build, which means that it is much cheaper to increase attack than defense. The way the MIRV missile works is that the main rocket motor, or booster, pushes it into a free flight path or suborbital. Then the body maneuvers using a small onboard rocket motor with a computerized inertial guidance system. Then release the warhead towards the target. Then the body maneuvers back towards another target until the warhead runs out. So guys, those are the 10 most dangerous artillery ever created by humans. Write your comments below to add in if you like this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel or dislike if you don't like it. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.